I want to show you something that uh, I, I find quite interesting. I do this occasionally. Um, what I have here is I have a Nikon D2H right here with the flash on. That has like 30,000, 31,000. I type, I put this sticker on there, 31,000 actuations. Okay, I use the same camera, um, not the same camera, the same lens, the same setup, the same flash. Everything is the same. And I actually thought that was this this particular Nikon D2H has a hundred and thirty three thousand actuations. OK, that's, that's a lot more than thirty one. OK, so um, I want you to look at that and take a real close look at this. I, it shuts off very quickly. But notice how bright. I don't know if you notice that how bright that one is and how dull looking that one is. Yeah. You see that the difference? So bright. And that's actually the brightness is I had to turn it down a little bit. Whereas that one, I had to turn it up. And yet it looks kind of cloudy and everything. Anyway, I thought there was something wrong with the camera. You know, because it has 130,000 actuation. So I wanted to, I uploaded it. And there it is. 133,448. And that is this one, DSC001. Okay, so that's what I did. So let's lower that and let's put this back on. Now, again, this is the newer camera. Look how bright that image is. It's very bright. Yeah, the image is nice and sharp. It's nice and clear. This image is actually pretty sharp too as well. But it, it looks a little bit darker. And, and it was the same setup, same flash, same, everything's the same. Okay, I even put the... Uh, Markings, there it is, DSC-1. Look, take a look at the left-hand side and look at these numbers. Nikon D2H, RGB, sRGB, focal length 24, there's the DSC-008. All that information is right there. I just wanted to see if there was something other, something wrong with this camera before I release this camera because I'm going to be... I'm, I, I'm going to have to let this camera go. As, uh, as I'm thinking of letting it go as faulty. So that means somebody has a really nice camera. The reason why I say faulty is because when you turn it on and you take the first shot, you, get the, you, you turn the camera on, you take that shot, you get an error message. You know, there it is. There it is right there. You see it, right? Error? Yeah? See? See what I mean? But that's only on the first frame. You leave the camera on and you you know you take the second picture everything starts to work normally so you know obviously you know i've taken a couple of pictures and then i clear the uh menu and try to take it again take the best picture i can with this d2h using a flash and everything and there's the image it actually looks pretty good it, it looks like the depth of field is a little bit deeper here so i don't know maybe it's doing something where it needs to be, you know, where the, you know, it's pushing the uh, depth of field going a little bit deeper instead of 5.3 or 5.6, it's going 6.3 or something. I've seen this happen a few times with lenses. Anyway, I just wanted you to take a look at those images, those photographs from two different Nikon D2H. Both of these cameras, both of these Nikon D2H cameras have an error on the first frame. Both of them have the same problem. The, diff the, the only difference is with this particular, the older one, it has um, a very dull, let me turn that on, a very cloudy type. Ooh, yeah. Oh, uh, that, yeah, that was the error frame. Yeah, I remember? Okay, so there we go. Where, where are we? Three, two, one. Okay, there we go. So there's the image. That's the image you get. It's a, like I said, it's a little bit cloudy. It's a little bit darker. It's not as bright as that image right there. So that's the only problem with it. And the uh, error message when you take the first frame, when you take the first shot, after you take the first shot, everything goes back to normal. You know, the second shot, everything goes back to normal. Now you can use it normally. So anyway, um, it's just something that I, I decided to share with you, you know, what I do sometimes when I'm testing out equipment to make sure, you know, you're getting what, um, what I'm saying out there. Like if I'm letting this go, if I'm selling it, you feel comfortable, you say, yeah, I seen it. Yeah, I can live with that. 
I think these are going to become really great collectible cameras, the Nikon D2H, simply because this is the first, the LB cast sensor, the LB cast sensor is all Nikon. This is an all Nikon camera, meaning even the sensor, it's not a Sony sensor, it's a Nikon D2H sensor, you know? And, uh, you know, it's, it failed in production because, uh, I don't know, maybe because of the cost, maybe it's just going to cost too much to use that kind of sensor. So Nikon decided to go with a Sony sensor. So, you know, your Nikon D2X is the same body, same type of structure, but it has a Sony sensor. And the D2H and the D2HS are the only Nikon cameras that are fully 100% Nikon, including the sensor itself, which is an LB cast. And you can look that up on Wikipedia or something like that, or maybe a Sony web, I mean, a Nikon website and find all that information out. Anyway, there you go, folks. Um, that's a Nikon D2H with 31,000. This is D2H with 133,000. Okay, there we go. Looks like that. All right, I'm going to leave it there, folks. You guys, you take care of yourself. Be good to yourself and be good to each other.